when you load Logger Pro, you will have both a position time graph and a velocity time graph. Later we might delete this, but for now it's nice to see how it looks. So I'm going to get my three trials nice and efficiently. So first I have to set this up to 45 seconds, so it records for longer. And let's go. Stop and pull back, wait, let it go for trial two. Stop, pull back, wait, let it go for trial three. Stop, pull back, put my blocker there. Stop this. This looked like three nice pieces of data. I'm gonna press auto scale so I can see this nicer. And I'm going to go to store latest run. So we can see here, this will be the coming run that's next. If I scroll to the right, I see this. I'm going to double click here and call this 10 grams. I'm going to now repeat this after moving one of my five gram masses onto the hanging mass for the pulling force. And I'm going to do trial, so not trial two, uh, manipulation two with 15 grams. So I'm gonna start it up again. Trial one, follow back, stop. Trial two, pull it back, stop. Trial three, stop my hand, pull it back, and put my stopper. Again, I'm going to press store latest run. Again, note you can auto, you can see here the difference in the steepness. And we're, you're going to talk more about that later yourself. This will get busy with more and more measurements, but I'll show you how to clean it up later.